Hi everyone. Today I will teach you right hand skill. After we taught left hand how to press down the string, today we will start to teach about the right hand. The right hand skill involves in three fingers in the beginning, which is your thumb, middle finger, and the index finger. We mentioned that Gu Zhen is a pentatonic scale, which means we only have five notes on the instruments, which is Do, Re, Mi, So, La. We usually tune Gu Zhen as a D key for the beginner. So when we tune it, that means it's D, E, F sharp, A, and B. Do, Re, Mi, So, La. And the number notation will have number one, two, three, five, six to represent Do, Re, Mi, So, La. Still, before we learn how to play the right hand, remember no matter it's right hand or left hand, keep your hand round and then open it. Put on the instrument. Don't push or pull. When you play it, when you play the right hand, use the big knuckle of your fingers or the little one, the end knuckle. But don't use your arm and don't turn the hands. Okay, so don't push, don't pull, but just play. I'm going to demonstrate that later on. And when you play your middle finger, remember this is a Gu Zhen, it's not a guitar. So try to use the big knuckle for the middle finger, but not the end of the knuckle to pull. This is wrong, okay? This is right. Now, let's try to practice it. So keep your hands round and then open it. And this is a D key. We are going to use the green color string to demonstrate because it's easy to see. The green color on D key zither is a so. Okay, so it is do, re, mi, so, la. So the sound will be on the so the middle finger will be one octave lower than your thumb. In other words, your thumb and middle finger is going to manage one octave. So keep this good habit. Whenever your thumb is, the middle finger always keep the same space, the octave, which means four strings, one, two, three, four, four strings between your middle finger and the thumb. This is one octave. So no matter where your thumb goes, the middle finger is there to ready. Okay, so you need to have a good habit. Your middle finger and thumb always keep octave space. Okay, so now we are going to demonstrate. Middle finger and thumb both are on sol now, okay? So when you play your thumb, you just use the big knuckle here to raise up and play. Okay, don't push your arm. Don't do, okay? And don't turn your hands. Don't do like, okay, those are wrong. So don't push the thumb.
and then don't turn over the hand. Okay? And then don't pull or push. So when you play your right hand, just use the knuckle. Raise up, play. Raise up, play. Okay. But no push or pull. The middle finger use the bigger knuckle too. Raise up, play. Raise up, play. hands round shape. So octave, thumb, thumb, middle finger. Okay. okay. And the index finger is between those two fingers. For example, when you play the middle finger with your thumb, the first thing you can practice, they play together. Index finger and the thumb play together. And the index finger usually have one string between your thumb or two strings between your thumb. Let's try just one string between your thumb. Play together. Index finger and thumb play together. So after you play, the shape is like this, like an eye there, like an okay shape, still round, okay? Like this. Ensure you don't leave the string, you will stay there. So the shape will look like this. Okay? And then if it's two strings between, the same thing. everything will go into your hand. Go to the center of your hand. So keep the sound there, like a thumb and middle finger together. They will look like this. Okay, don't do, don't jump to the air, okay? And the, the index finger. Again, just simply thump. Raise up, play. Middle finger. Together. Okay, practice slowly. And, the, the, and then in index finger, the first thing is to try to play together with your thumb as a practice. One string between the thumb, two string between the thumb. Remember, keep your hands round, 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 okay? Don't leave the string. Okay, then after that, you can play separately. Train your each finger be independent. So if you play the, the index finger alone, you can use the end little knuckle here and then play separately index finger and thumb. So. Okay, so you can do fast. If you turn the hands, you are going to slow down because you cannot really come back very quick and then you are not going to be able to play fast speed music. So do the, use the knuckle but not the, turn the hands. So this is correct. So don't do, don't turn over your hands. No matter what the skill you, you practice, remember practice slowly with proper method. Don't have don't have the wrong habit in the very, very beginning. It's going to ruin your um, music. And also, ask and listen to your uh, t teacher. Listen to her or him and uh, lay 
your t teacher to help you to correct if you already have a bad habit to start. Okay, this is today's lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.